Good day, everyone. It is summertime. The AC is on. I'm grilling some hamburgers. But right now, we're cooking up the Nike Pegasus 37. This is my full review. Stay tuned. The Nike Pegasus 37 is, in short, a wonderful shoe, one that I would recommend. Let me explain why. After 83.6 miles in this shoe, I can confidently say that I've really enjoyed this shoe. There's a lot of elements to the shoe that I have come to uh, particularly like. For example, the React foam is nice and cushiony. It really does a great job at absorbing uh, the, the, the cushioning underfoot. I mean, you can just see it is nice and squishy right exactly where you want it along the back part of the, the shoe there and midfoot. Of course, your forefront has that air zoom pocket, which is very reactive. It really helps absorb your foot strike, but then propel you or, or bounce you back, if you will, uh, in, into your, your next foot strike. It really does a good job at um, providing that that instant feedback. The upper of the shoe is very comfortable. You've got this uh, very nice uh, fabric. It's not very forgiving as far as uh, stretchiness, but it for me was very comfortable. Uh, the, the width of the toe box was uh, good for my foot. If you have a above average wide foot, high volume foot, you'll probably want to go with the wide version. Uh, but for me, I liked it. I liked that it held my feet, my toes, uh, snugly, but uh, if that's even a word, is snugly a word? Regardless, it holds my feet well, my feet, my, my, my toes well. I really like that, but there's still room for my toes to be able to display um, out and uh, um, be very comfortable. I don't even know if I'm making sense, but we're going to continue on anyways. You can see here that you've got the four bands, which uh, extend along part of the side here and then they combine into a, a single piece of perforated fabric um, just on the uh, inside of, of this outer layer. That This whole setup is extremely comfortable. It holds your foot very securely uh, but is, is not uh, doesn't create any hot spots or um, pressure points along the side or the top of your foot. It's, it's extremely nice. In addition to that, the tongue itself is gusseted so it's going to be held in place securely um, on, on both sides here so it's not going to be moving around left or right so basically what you're looking at you have a gusseted tongue that's up against your foot then you have this perforated uh, fabric from that, that, that these four bands are part of and then the outside fabric so you actually have quite a bit of layers across the, the, the top and mid part of your foot creating a very secure but comfortable hold uh, the foot my feet never got hot in this shoe. It seems to breathe well. The material, even though it seems to be very um, uh, uh, dense, uh, I don't know if that's the right word to use, it does not shed water. It absorbs water uh, quickly, which makes me believe that it also is very breathable. I have a high tolerance in my feet as far as heat and um, uh, cold. So um, whether the shoe breathes really well or not doesn't really impact me at all. Moving along to the back, the heel is very comfortable. You've got some nice padding along here, a little bit along the sides. Most of the padding is going to be along the uh, um, this part of uh, the heel, heel part of the, the shoe. It's nice that they included a lot of padding there and you have a little bit of flare there. So there's very little interference along your Achilles heel. Back to the midsole you're looking at. Um, 
28 millimeter heel stack, 18 in the front for a 10 millimeter drop. Uh, that drop is, is just fine for a typical daily trainer. Onto the outsole, you're looking at a, a near full spread of rubber with a little bit of decoupling here. This uh, little cavern, if you will, or whatever that's called, is actually kind of nice because when your heel presses down into that, uh, what's going to happen is, is the rest of the shoe spreads out a little bit. So it actually, in effect, provides even more cushioning um, without the added weight of additional foam there. The rubber has been very durable, uh, very grippy, even in wet conditions. Uh, I've ran in, in some wet grass, wet concrete, sidewalks, um, and of course dry conditions, a little bit of sandy conditions, and it, it does a great job. These lugs are, are um, just deep enough. I don't know how deep they truly are, maybe a millimeter and a half to two millimeters. Um, certainly not an off-road shoe, but does great when you're, you're trying to run in very buffed out gravel conditions, concrete, asphalt, uh, just does a, a great job. Again, I've put over 80 miles into this shoe and the rubber is showing little to no signs of wear. It is uh, holding up quite well. So in short, I've taken this shoe on some faster runs in the mid to low six minute paces. I've taken it on some medium runs, regular easy day runs, uh, medium long runs, so in that 10 to, to 12 mile runs. I've even had taken it on, a, on a, a long run up to 18 miles. The shoe did great in all of those conditions with the exception of the long run. My only real gripe or complaint about the shoe is that on those long runs, my foot just tends to get a little bit more tired, more tired than it does on really any other shoe that I've owned. Um, now I don't really notice it until I start getting into the 15 plus mile range. So as a daily trainer, the shoe really has been great uh, for those long runs. Again, getting up over 15 miles, so 18, 20 miles plus, it tends to just, my, my feet just get a little tired, a little more fatigued than I would have expected. That's really the only con. Again, on to the pros. I love the Air Zoom. I love the Nike React Foam. I love the fit and feel of the upper. I love the build quality. This shoe is built very well and it, and you can feel that on underfoot. My full review of the Nike Pegasus 37, a great shoe. I would recommend it, $120 MSRP. That is a good buy, good value, and you might even be able to find it on sale, which is even better. All right, it looks like the hamburgers are ready, so let's dish these up and let's eat. Until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Be consistent, express gratitude, and enjoy every mile. Bye-bye.